Many countries around the world are developing and deploying driverless taxi technology. UK is one of them. The future of driving is being tested on British roads, one complex corner at a time. This story tells you how. Driverless cars have hit the roads in the United Kingdom. They are currently being tested on Britain's narrow country lanes. The idea is to see whether the autonomous car systems can cope with a road network that often bear no lane markings and allows a speed limit of up to 96 km per hour. These driving tests are part of the Evolved project that aims to turbocharge the rollout of self-driving cars in the UK. We started off being able to drive on motorways and then dual carriageways in cities. But the latest part is out, how do we get it to drive in country roads or you know, complex urban streets where you've got two-way traffic. So we've now managed to join a majority of the dots together and we're definitely one step closer to being able to go towards a mobility service. The team is using a Nissan car for the trial with two Nissan engineers on board. While one engineer monitors progress from the back seat, the other is seated in the driver's seat, ready to take control in case of an emergency. There's 15 cameras on the car. There's four long range LIDARs and two wide angle LIDARs on the side of the car. They are all fused together in a data system to basically give the car a 360 view of everything in the surrounding, better than most humans would ever be able to achieve. And we also use two conduction sensors as well. We use the vehicle radar and we use the uh, camera up by the wind uh, sensor mirror as well. So we know their production parts, so we know they're validated and extensively tested. The car is also equipped with facial recognition technology that helps the system assess whether a pedestrian is about to become a hazard even before they do. Together with the sensors and some of the software on the vehicle, we obviously want to really understand how can we anticipate risks around the vehicle. And of course, when you see pedestrians on the side of the road, part of the technology was actually trying to understand from people's facial recognition is what is their intention? Are they going to step out in front of the vehicle or, or not? Because obviously we need to make sure the car will behave in a safe manner. While automakers and autonomous vehicle software companies have had success with basic driver assistance, functions such as lane keeping systems, developing vehicles that can truly drive themselves has proven more difficult and much more expensive than many had expected. However, with the Evolved project, automakers are hoping for a solution.